Hello, welcome. Uh, this is the first video in AutoCAD, and this video is going to show you how to get things started uh, using just the basics. And we're, when I talk about the basics, I'm just talking about the very basic elements needed in order to get into the model space, into uh, modeling and uh, drawing or drafting in AutoCAD, and being able to take that product and put it into a drawing format and printing it out. I mean, ultimately, that's our product. That's our ultimate product is be able to take what we're designing in AutoCAD. It's going to be in 2D. We're going to restrict all of our design in 2D in AutoCAD. But we're going to take all those drawings that we're going to produce in AutoCAD and be have that ability to be able to print out those drawings with a title block so that people know what we're talking about here. It's uh, simple enough to go ahead and print something out, but we also want to be able to, uh, you know, be able to scale it have a title block which has additional information than what may not be available on our uh, model that we're going to be drawing, that we're going to be drafting. And we need to have those things set up in order to be able to do all that, be able to print out that final product. So, yeah, kind of belabored that a little bit, but I think that's well uh, put and enough said, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you, uh, when you open up AutoCAD, you're going to see a screen like this. I mean, there's going to be some other things opening up in regard to the license, perhaps. Uh, some help menus are going to open up. But ultimately, when you get down to it, you're going to see a screen very similar to this, where what, where what you're going to be looking at is uh, in model space. So, in order to find AutoCAD, you'll find it on your computers. I believe it's on the left-hand side. And uh, what you're looking for, there are a lot of AutoCAD products and Autodesk products here. Make sure you're opening up only AutoCAD 2012. Not AutoCAD Structural, not AutoCAD Architectural, but just plain old, um, you know, brown wrapper AutoCAD. So look for that. And when you open that up, you'll see a screen very similar to this. So let's uh, begin to talk a little bit about this screen. There's going to be a couple different videos that are going to come behind this. So uh, we're just going to talk about the basics in this film in order to make this film uh, relatively short. And that's going to be the goal with a lot of these videos I'm producing. So what we want to do uh, right off the bat is we want to be able to create a couple. We're going to open up a template file, which is going to have a very basic uh, title block template that we're going to borrow. And then from that, we're going to go ahead and print or um, start modeling in model space. And just to talk a, just a little bit about the terminology, and we'll be covering this terminology as we go through these videos. And as we go through class, we'll just uh, touch a little bit here, a little bit there. But let me talk about a little bit about some of the terminology in regard to model space and paper space. Paper space, if you can think about it, is a space that's created by AutoCAD that allows us to print out information on a spe specific uh, sheet size, whether it's D size, uh, architectural D size, 24 by 36 inch, or uh, ANSI A size, 8.5 by 11 inch. Uh, paper space allows us to define that paper size. And uh, what we want to do is we want to do all of our modeling in model space. Paper space is where we want to print out of. And that interface between model space and paper space is uh, actually on paper space itself and what we do is we create a window in paper space called a viewport window and that viewport window allows us to look in the background in the model space and see what we've designed there and printed out. So if you look at the bottom down here we have uh, three tabs in regard to uh, our um, our layouts. They're called layout tabs. We have layout one and layout two and we have model. You can delete the layout one and layout two if you desire. We're going to do that here in just a few minutes. But model space is only one model space, and model space exists as kind of like an infinite 2D and 3D universe that exists in the back of a layout one and layout two. So if you click in the surface here and take your middle mouse button, you can scroll in and out and get very, relatively close and relatively far. You'll notice that there's a grid in there as you get closer to the grid, the grid breaks itself down and gets wider and larger and stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and turn that grid off here in a minute, but if you can think about model space, you can draw exceptionally large objects in model space and exceptionally small objects in model space. But when you get to your layouts, um, uh, you can go ahead and scale that window that looks in the model space in order to fit something that's very large or scale uh, down something or scale up something that looks uh, relatively small. And that, uh, in paper space, gives you that capability. So here's that window. This is our viewport window. So I think that's enough for one video for now. When we open up the next uh, video, when we start the next video, we're going to open up a template file. It's going to give us our title block template and uh, give us the ability to get started modeling in model space. So thank you for joining me.